Hot shot. Oh. Hot shot. It's actually nice. I might can. Yeah, you're just gonna hold it like this all the time. You so gotta use just, your sternum. We did. We did all that work for headspace, and we're just gonna lean back and just gonna do one of these. It's actually pretty, uh-huh. this is pretty golden right here. Are we recording? We're recording, yeah. Oh, perfect. We got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Hot start. Hot uh, start. It's. I love starting like this. Just don't tell people you're starting. And it's most natural then. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of being like, all right, ready and go talk. Because like we were, you, you don't put on a face, you know, you're not like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a podcast. Here's how I want to look. I want to look smart. I want to look sexy. Let's try that. You know, they try these things. Yeah. And then you hit start and it goes out the window. And they go, ah, shit. I don't know. What flavor fluoride? I don't know. That's why I started with the <laughs> alcohol. Like, well, not for you. I know you and I are going to be very comfortable talking to each other, but it's like, <laughs> When my friends would come on, I would be like, all right, let's have drinks. And I was like, all right, let's have a beer. For-. They would all be like, can we have a drink first before we start? I'm like, do you think one beer is going to make you just completely <laughs> lose? It's going there on the air like, damn, I should have had that one beer. I would have been great right now if I did, had that one beer. I had a few friends that came. They're like, I'm not going to lie to you. I had like six before I we did this. I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, this is going to be great. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for me. You know, I'm almost full fledged alcoholic now. I just have a few sips and I'm like, boom, I'm right back. I'm here. here. <laughs> I'm in the zone. Feeling good. I'm glad my drinking has, quote unquote, like tamed. Like, I can tell my tolerance has gone down so much since college. Like, I'm not drinking Thursday, Friday, Saturday anymore, the occasional Tuesday and maybe a Wednesday. Now it's like, all right, I'm going to get to Friday, have a few drinks doing stand up. Saturday, maybe I drink all day and then I'm good. And I like, now I notice too, like when we're at the high note or something like that. I have, like, three beers. I'm like, oh, fuck, slow down. You yeah. haven't gone on stage yet. Yeah, two is that, like, you know, two to three. When well, you can still shut it off at two. <laughs> well, that's three. the thing is I don't start with beer. I go straight to vodka soda. Yeah. And now I'm comfortable enough with the bartenders and Evan there that they're just like, all right, we'll just make it a double. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so they're I'm like, nice. shit, what was that? I dropped some ice. Oh. Out of my mouth. I'm I'm bad. I have a bad accuracy rating at eating and drinking. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I would say yes, I would, or I don't know. Maria offered some ice cream, and I was like glad I said no. Both for my own It'd like, be all feeling. Over you. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> the, but I like might get some on the shirt, and then I'd be the show would be ruined. I'm like I gotta keep going up there with this stain on my shirt. We're no longer the pretty boys. You're all <laughs> looking at this stain. The outside's pretty, but the inside is a mess. <laughs> I enjoyed that show yesterday. I love how Maria's like, I did the show for me. Just watch all you guys up there. I'm like, all right, objectify us. Kay was yeah. like, yeah, you guys get what we get all the time. You're going to get objectified. I was like, I don't think we're going to get objectified. We're going to be like, these yeah. sorry suckers need help. I was saying, too, I was like, oh, I realized why it's the pretty boys of comedy. Because we're getting treated like children yeah. <laughs> or like objects. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I mean, and that's just, yeah, I'll be a piece of meat. Ah. Uh, yeah, but don't grill me. That's all. Let's be I'll be a piece all, of meat, but all don't guys grill me. kind of like we want to be objectified. Just fucking tell us we're pretty and we're good. Not pretty. I if say, a girl came up to you and they're like, "Would you not take offense to pretty?" Or what would you? What, what do you want a girl to call you? Cute, handsome, hot, pretty. Uh, funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Cute, handsome, hot, pretty. I don't know. I like. Mean, what are the best compliments? Don't even have to be looks wise to get. I'm thinking right now, like, honestly, the weird thing is, is like, I'd rather tell you, like, or rather be told, like, hey, I like your shirt. You know, <laughs> it's like, oh, because I made effort to put this on, on my yeah. outfit, you know. Well, I do get to, like, walking back into the high note. There were three people leaving, and it was three of us walking in, and one girl was like, oh, dude, you have great hair. You know, one of the guys brought yeah. it up, and the girl was, like, leaving, and it was almost like she stopped and was like, I w- I'm drunk. I wish, you know, I wish you were here five minutes ago yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> And I'm like, thanks, you know. So I do get you a don't lot have of to leave. Yeah, so I, I do get a lot of compliments on the hair, and I don't, I don't know. It's weird because I feel like sometimes I'm like, are you after my secrets? Yeah, you know, like, uh, do you like? Well, do you think that's the number one thing you're complimented on? Definitely, right now, definitely my hair. Mine's my eyes. I always get my eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. So my eyes are going as we speak. I was <laughs> like, let me focus in on these pools. Mine's my eyes. No, I think some of the best compliments to get, like, I don't want. If a girl came up and was like, you're cute, like that just seems childish or like you're yeah. pretty. I'm like, I'm not like a Barbie doll. Mm-hmm. I, I feel weird I saying like, pretty. Yeah, I like fun. Like you're fun. Yeah, like, that's, that's probably a good time. You're a good time. Funny. 
And then I think if someone called you trouble. Like, <laughs> like uh, you're trouble. You like, know that's fun. It's like, oh, Cusky's coming over. Oh, that guy's trouble. Yeah. You know? Because <laughs> like, you know it's like we're going to do stuff we probably shouldn't, but we're going to enjoy doing it. Right, right. Yeah, a little bit of trouble, you know, never hurts. Yeah. You know, you don't. Unless you say like the only t- oh, you, oh I'm in trouble with the law, but even like that is like hints of like I'm on the run. You know, <laughs> he's the bad boy. I'm, I'm in trouble. Patrol me. You Red ever been hit. arrested? No. Let's see. My most. No, I have not been arrested. Have you been arrested? No, I want to though. Okay. I have like. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, is this a story? I better. No, ask. like I have FOMO. Like I have two good friends, and I've said it on here so many times. I've. Two good friends that have been arrested and like nothing bad has happened to him. Like one's a nurse now. The other one works for a golf company mm-hmm. in Arizona. I'm like, I want that story now. Like, yeah, that's at least five minutes. I hear you. If I got arrested. OK, at interesting. least. And I think it'd be fun. Like, I want to have all the stories I mean, like I did it all. I want to be arrested. It's weird FOMO. Yeah. Well, that's the type of, you know, at least now your comedy is like, this is my experiences. This is oh, my very retelling ex- of the event. Yeah. Which is cool. I know I've gotten probably the worst is like one trespassing ticket, Mm -hmm. which that is a story. I was like, oh, maybe I should adapt. But uh, it was like my 21st birthday and me and my neighbor friend, we lived on the opposite side of uh, Willowbrook Park was the name of it. So we called ourselves the Willowbrook Boys. uh, That sounds like a book. Yeah, right. That's what. (laughs) And then there was there was always like a gang of kids riding their bikes. I'd call them the Willowbrook Boys too. Like, look out! You read it in like grade school. Like, yeah, like the the Stand by Me gang or something. You know, like a series. Skin it. (laughs) Yeah, but there was this quarry uh, growing up that we'd always go to this quarry, right? And just to like walk around and see it because it was getting worked on it. But then recently. They're like, we went to college, and they're like, oh, they're filling in the quarry. They're done with it. They're filling in with water. And so we're like, oh, it's my 21st birthday. What do we want to do? During the day, we, uh, we're we like, let's go swim in the quarry. Let's hop the fence, swim in the quarry, you mm-hmm. know? So we do that. We get our other buddy. So it's three of us, and it's only filled, like, to the bottom. So we got to walk all the way down. Mm-hmm. And we get in. Obviously, the water's freezing, just yeah. cold. We're like, what are we? Luckily, we brought drinks and everything, so it was a good time. You have to. Yeah. But we see cars coming because we know we hop the fence and it's like and apparently it was like the contractors brought their kids to show the kids their quarry on the weekend you know and so we we see him we're like all right we better start walking up because it's down it's this circle trail to uh like be like all right we know we're wrong you know what's up and we halfway they yell down we're like maybe 40 feet away from they're like you better just wait right there the cops are on their way you know and we're like oh jesus So we're sitting there. We're like, all right, we see exactly how these guys see us. You know, they think we're high school punk dweebs, but we're actually college punk dweebs. And so much better. So much better. We've moved up. We're legally drinking and doing this. Yeah. Yeah. This is legal of this day, you know. And so we walk up to a we're like sitting there. We're like, all right, he's going to come. So we bury, you know, what we need to bury. Super secretive, super smart. Mm -hmm. And uh and we're like, we go up, let's apologize to him so then they at least know, like, hey, we know how to be adults here. Like, we know we're not supposed to be here, but we're just having fun and being cool. Like, yeah, whatever. And so we apologize. Dude's like, whatever. Thanks. Cops come talk to us. He's like, I get it. But they want to press charges because apparently this kid uh, ripped his arm open, hopping the it's, fence. It's last a liability week. thing, too. Yeah. That's why they're mad. Like, exactly. We don't want another lawsuit. And if if the ho- local, the local, the younger Willowbrook boys hadn't been running around playing there, mm-hmm. we'd have been fine. Yeah. But the funny part is I didn't tell my dad I got a trespassing ticket. We go out to dinner later and I know the server for us went to high school and also lives in the area. So he's like, oh, how was your birthday? What'd you do? I was like. Oh, I actually got a trespassing ticket. This is a good time to tell you, Dad. <laughs> you know, I did that with my first drinking ticket, where I only got one mm-hmm. at a music festival, a country music festival, and it wasn't a big deal. I was in college; like my parents didn't care. But I was like, "There's no reason to like tell them." Like, oh yeah, who cares? And so, but to get it removed and reduce the ticket, I had to go to like a Those three classes. day class or yeah. whatever. And so, like, it was the middle of summer on, like, a weekend or something like that. My dad's like, where the fuck are you going so early? I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to get rid of my drinking ticket. He goes, what? I go, yeah, I'll talk to you later. He goes, okay. Preemptive. You know, yeah. it's a preemptive, like, I think I'm going to – so I'm doing the classes because I think I'm going to get a drinking ticket. That would be funny if you could do that. Yeah, I'm just prepping myself. I'm, like, getting them out of the way. So if I do get one, I'm already done. Yeah, yeah. But the funny part is, with that story, to cap it off, the server's younger brother – 
Her name was Claire. Her younger brother was the one who ripped his arm open. Really? So I'm like, little dog, who I've known since a kid, is the reason I got to try. That's crazy. You know, small world, small world. How much, how much does a trespassing ticket cost? I forget. I think it was like in between 100 and 200. Yeah. Yeah. You charge like college kids over $200 for a trespassing ticket. You're just like ruining yeah. lives. It was, it was, it was. Do you know apparently cops can, um, like in college, people throw like house parties and shit like that. Like we got tickets for throwing one for my buddy's birthday in oh, an yeah. apartment. Like the apartment's half the size of this. Um, I mean, the entire apartment was probably the kitchen, living room. That's it. And okay. we're like, we had like 60 people <laughs> in here. It was disgusting. People were pissing everything off, like throwing up off the balcony. There's drugs in the bathroom. We got tickets. Um, big party. Big party. It was big it birthday. Was a really dumb party. But. <laughs> yeah. um, the cops were like, yeah, you guys are getting noise complaints. Whoever is in the apartment gets underages and, like, whatever violations. But thank God I was, like, peeing outside. I, I didn't get oh, one, which was nice. But I, they told us, they said, if you guys don't, they don't leave quietly, like, basically single file line, we can give you an underage for every person drinking here that's underage. Jeez. I was like, holy shit. Can you imagine like sixty drinking tickets on one person? On one person. I don't know if that is that just doesn't make sense. It doesn't right? make sense. And the best part, this is like a fun. Like I want to make this a bit too. Is like uh -huh. did the party? There was literally like ecstasy on our bathroom floor. That like we found the next morning. Like you guys are not good cops. I mean, it's a <laughs> bag of white powder on the floor. But the last person who left was the guy whose birthday it was, and he is wasted. And everyone apparently had left quietly because I just stayed out of the apartment when this was happening. My uh -huh. roommates were like, dude, everyone left quietly. And then birthday boy looked at the cops and went, suck my fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a good send off. <laughs> and then left. And my roommate's like, we're fucked. And like, you're lucky. That's the last suck fucking dude. Pig. <laughs> suck my fucking cock. I was like, all right. That's awesome. That's funny. That was worth the six hundred dollars worth of tickets. Yeah, that's not split between three people though. Oh, okay. Yeah, but two hundred, if my math is correct. If I think is. that's about right. That's a, that sounds about right. You still liking the seltzer? Yeah, it's good. I haven't been. I like it. It's refreshing almost. Tapo Wait Chico. To <laughs> um, did you write notes for this, by the way? No, I just like to have – I did write a few things, like, just in case. I was like, oh, you know, if I'm doing, you know, topics that might be good for us similar to talk about, hats is one. Hats? <laughs> you talk about hats? No, it's terrible. No, I like my hats, as you can tell, although I'm wearing them less and less Yeah. at shows and whatnot. Like, I, any actual show, I don't wear a hat that right. I'm on. Right, But I just kind of throw it on. Like, I've never had – like, my hair used to be – buzzed or like oh, crew yeah. cut and i wouldn't yeah. like put it on and now like it's longer and whatnot and it just shapes it and I, I got so used to wearing it trying to shape it and push it backwards i'm like i kind of like the look now mm -hmm. i would wear hats a lot i used to always have like buzz cuts too and one of the reason to grow out the hair too is like the backward hat yeah. look with the hair underneath yep. is really fucking cool <laughs> and i pull it off like a king obviously but I don't want to do it now because it's like, well, I wear the hat. It's going to mess up the hair because it's like I, now I need to function with at least decent looking hair. You yeah. Know? <laughs> like we did that photo shoot with Jesse at Comedy on State on Wednesday. And he's like, so what's your hairstyle? What are you doing? And I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. Thank you for asking it's me. because long. Now I I think, yeah. He's like, because you're like, it's long in the back, but there's like, and I'm like, yeah, no, I really don't know. Fully, what what's yeah. going on? I've tr I've tried to do a bit of research. Like I'm it, still working mine. Like I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. We're just figuring out this thing called life, you know. Every day, every time I go in to get a haircut, though, I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I need to do a bit of research. Like I need to come in with pictures to show them here, you know. Because every time I lose, I get done with a haircut, I'm like, I'm always disappointed. It was like I didn't communicate enough, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't. And but then I eventually end up just liking it. I go, I still go yeah. to sports clips. I used to have a barber in Madison, and sports clips they they tell you they update your haircut information every time. Oh really? Mine's also different, but they're like every time they're like, so you still want a two on the sides and like clean up the top? I'm like, does it look like I've done that in a while? 
And they're like, no. I'm like, when's the last <laughs> time this was updated? It's like, this says 2014. I'm like, yeah, I think it's a little outdated. So uh, it says here we got the uh, bowl cut from 1998. You still want that? <laughs> <laughs> I just sure. fucking take it off. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I stopped going. I was like, uh, a couple of years ago, I was like, I guess this is the time where, you know, this is one of the things like toilet paper where you yeah. got to shell out the money to get the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like this is an important buy. You don't you don't skimp on a the haircut is tough. Though, toilet because paper. You, you want to find someone you're comfortable with. Like I had a guy in, named Mario in Madison. Like I look for someone I can like talk to as much as who's going to cut my hair decently. Um, now I would sacrifice being able to talk to the person where I know I'm going to get a good haircut, yeah. but finding that person, like I can just like hang out with you while we do this. And it's not as stressful uh-huh. because I used to get haircuts and I would grip my forearm so tight. I would just sit here like this underneath the, whatever the robe. Uh-huh. And because I'm like, they're fucking it up. They're fucking it up. They're uh-huh. fucking it up. And I won't say anything. Cause I don't know what the words are. Yeah. Um, and I just, I can't do it. I'm like, and, and then like, I, I get out like, and I'm like, I got to, you're like, you're like I'm like, yeah, it's great. It's great. Give me the fuck out of the chair. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Give me my lollipop. But it's like, I used to have a another host. I did a different podcast, and we called him Jerry's. Like, who fuck up your hair? He goes, I got. He literally went and got a haircut, and he took. I was like, dude, take your hat off. Let me see it. It looks so fucking bad. He goes, oh, I'm like, man. who was he? he? Goes, it was a fucking Jerry. And I'm like, all right, I like it, but oh, yeah. yeah, haircuts are stressful. Yeah, that's and you have one bad one, and that's what like. And I remember the one bad one I had that ruined it. I was I f- came out feeling like looking like Julie Andrews. I was like, I don't. I like Julie Andrews. You know, respect to Julie and her great I'm catalog of work. Like but I'm not trying to have confidence in sunshine. No, it's I am trying to have confidence in sunshine. Worst haircut I ever had. I went to a Veda. You ever heard of that? It's like a hair like school yeah. in okay. Madison. Three different people touched my head. I was shampooed. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Three different like styles of cutting hair. Oh know? yeah, no, that's not good. That I was. I was like, what the it. fuck yeah. is going on? I was shampooed twice. First was like, let's like you start with the shampoo. You get your hair like all mm-hmm. unmatted and whatnot. And then I think the second one was like, I think we need to like restart. And so they wash. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I got back home, and I looked at the side of my hair. There was just a patch because I was, when I was doing like the real short on the sides, there was just a patch of hair above my ear that wasn't cut. Oh yeah, I was like, now I'm giving myself a haircut. So four right. people, including right. me, cut my hair. And that you day. probably paid a decent amount. And it took an hour and a half. My haircuts Damn. usually take twenty to twenty five minutes. Yeah, and I mean I get it. It's a school, you know, but but good God, how do you? Miss you should a get paid hair? for being the subject. Well, that's the thing is. They, uh, I went to GoPay, and they're like, we're actually doing a promotion today. We're like, the haircuts are free for students. I was like, I just watched someone pay in front of me. You know you fucked my head up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're saying that. <laughs> just you today, you your lucky up. day, bro. <laughs> I mean, thanks, but now I got to cut my hair with my mm-hmm. like beard trimmer. Yeah, right. I mean, the best part is definitely the uh, the shampooing, you know? You lay your head back. I'm always like, you want to relax, but I'm like, I got to focus up because if I relax, I'm going to let out a moan. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get real sexual it's real gonna, quick. Uh, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> just keep just keep going. Keep doing that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's nice, but I still have a problem with people like just touching me who I don't know. Oh, okay. And so I like the, the towel over my face. Like that mm-hmm. feels really good. Mm-hmm. Eventually, like. The, don't get me wrong, the, the head massage and shampoo feels good, but after a while, like, I'm like, this is going on a while. I'm like, either you're taking too long or I do not clean my hair well enough when I'm showering at home. Yeah. I always want, yeah, I always wonder, I'm like, are you actually, like, shampooing and, like, washing the same way I would in the shower? Like, I feel like it's a totally different way. Yeah, I mean, I do not shower Cause the I got- way they clean my hair. I'm like, there's no, I don't do that at home. Right. Because it's like, well, after I you know, wash. And now I have a better shampoo, but uh, it's like, it feels like I can't do anything with my hair after I wash mm-hmm. it. And now you're going to like cut it and style it. Yeah. It's a mystery, man. That's the one thing I do miss about, I mean, my hair is still not, <laughs> still not, I thought the glass just broke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was obnoxious. I, uh, I don't we'll think I've ever to used paper these coaster. coasters before. We'll switch to paper. Oh, you can do whatever you want. I'm just a fan of the these coaster. These are all my roommates. So. <laughs> um, Coaster boy. Guess how much this table costs. 
Oh, I like this game. <laughs> well, did you get a good deal? He got a good deal, yes. He made me go down to Chicago with him to pick it up. Okay. That's fun, though, a trip for furniture, you know? I like, like, if anybody's... No, this was when he lived alone. He goes, can you help me go get a coffee? For free? Like, for No, he, he paid a decent I mean, amount for, for you. It. Like, yeah. he's like, I'll buy you lunch or something. Yeah, I mean, also, it's like, it wasn't, it was like just at, like, the tip of Chicago. Oh, or okay. not Chicago, but Illinois, but... Uh, 50 bucks. <clears throat> Way low? Way low. Okay, so this is a lot. I, th- so, I thought yeah. you are like... Because so, whatever you say is like, dude... Check out this deal I got. It's either like so oh, two hundred then. Nice thing. I was like either fifty or two hundred. Um, so I because when he bought this and told me how much he paid for it, I was like, dude, I could <laughs> I could have made you this. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I could have made you this for two hundred. Now I want to say like five hundred. You know, so. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Five hundred, and he got a deal on it. Got it's a deal. Spe- <laughs> <laughs> it's some special kind of wood or something like that. <laughs> I talked him down from eight hundred. It was, I <laughs> mean, it's fun. a very nice coffee table. I, I did notice a wobble, though, first off. Yeah, yeah so, wobble? like, it just rests on top. Like, this thing moves. And so I want to, like, I told him, like, because he doesn't like that it moves anymore. I'm like, let's just bracket it off. Like, no one's going to be able to see it. Easily fix that And if problem. you ever want it to move again, we'd just take it off. Yeah. So I think we're going to try that. Here you go. We got a lot of stuff we still want to do. What kind of artwork do you think should go here? You seem to be pretty, like, well in tune with all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I grew up on HGTV. I'm a fan of the Property Brothers. <laughs> See, you got this. Uh, Tell me that's not like, okay, it's It's not, cool, but it's cool, but it, it wouldn't fit, fit the living room. Yeah, it's cool. It's like it could be the one thing where like people walk in and they're like, oh, yeah, guys do live here. Okay, exactly. And you can get away with one. Yeah, one. I thought I saw it at the state fair and I was like. All right, this is sick. Uh-huh. Like I, everyone knows the picture. You want to pull it up? I was just gonna say, let me just pick it up for you. So I mean, um, you just lean over the couch if you want to, too. But so I saw it. It was in a podcast I've done already. But I, when I bought it, I was like, this is gonna be great for like a podcast studio. Like oh, it, it fit very much fits. Like if I just had a ton of artwork behind us. Okay. But like it's that iconic. Um, like with the kids or whatever, or people are eating lunch on a high rise beam. No one's strapped in, but it's all like DC yeah, and Marvel the characters. Picture. The only problem I have is that, and most nerds will be like, what the hell? We got Marvel here, but then you're just going to throw in DC. You're going to throw in Batman and Superman, you know? Cause it's like, what? They're different. What is this? Oh, I thought that was a box of, uh, white claws. Well, flash is <laughs> in there too. Yeah, he's DC too. I what's missed him. Uh, what's Deadpool? Deadpool's uh, Marvel. Deadpool's Marvel. So we have DC, DC, DC Marvel, 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 DC, it's, yeah. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. It's all Marvel except the Flash and Superman and Batman. Yeah, man. Which is for this painter I think those to are say. Some of the most iconic characters. I mean, Deadpool's in there because of Ryan Reynolds. I mean, he made Deadpool so big. Oh yeah, for sure, a hundred percent. We wouldn't even know. Do you like the superhero like movies? Yeah, I mean, well, I you know I've had enough of oh, them. Oh, Venom! Because everyone I has. I didn't even notice Venom. Yeah, he's he's Spider Man. Yeah. Um, I like him. Like, I, I I'm a nerd. Same. I like superheroes. Batman's my boy. Batman's your favorite. He's I go back cool. and forth between I like DC over Marvel or something like that. But, um, who would be your favorite from each? I would say I would say, and I think this is just for all like top two is just uh, Batman and Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man's like the coolest. Spider Man and Batman were my two favorites. I grew up on like Batman Beyond, the cartoons. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, so cool. I was like, oh, oh my man. God, to be him would be awesome. Yeah, no, Batman Beyond was sick. Yeah, I grew up on cartoons for sure. That's why, like the Justice League cartoon, that, oh, was, yeah. that was probably why I'm more DC. I love the, ju- you know, Martian Manhunter. That it's was darker. Cool. I like that. It's darker too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like they had that episode where like they. Some guy went back in time and gave the Nazis like tons of text. So like the Justice League was like, well, we gotta go back in time now too and help. Yeah, it's, I it's also like a if I ever was in like if I could play a movie character. Oh yeah. I want to. It might be like I want to be Robin. Yeah. To do a Robin movie would like be like just solo just Robin. Just a solo Rob like in Robin origin story. I get to be Robin, and then that leads into like all right, a Batman and Robin, and then yeah. you have. Redo like the whole DC thing needs to be redone. Like have let the guys who did Marvel 
buy them out and let them do a, a DC one. It'll the be good. Batman and let it, good. And let it, I haven't seen it yet. I want to see it. I heard it's way too long, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Does not need to be three hours. No, but Does I want – I, I think playing – I think I could do it, too. Yeah. I'm like smaller. No, you're right. I'm smaller. Like, I'm not. Batman I was just going to say, you got the perfect height. Yeah. The perfect build. And. Chris O'Donnell. Oh, my God. I could definitely be. I really want to be Robin. And then let it lead into a Batman and Robin. And then I'm somehow, like, make, like, a cameo in a Justice League movie. And, like, that's good. And, and that's then that the, leads to whatever else I want to do. There's multiple Robins, you know. And then there's one. I think it there's might be, like, to the Tim Joker. Drake or something. I don't know. One dude becomes Nightwing. So I'm like, that would be yeah. a cool movie. But if you want to still be with Batman, then. I think well he works. Well he ends up becoming yeah all that. I will do all. Of them. There's a couple Let of me different be Robin. Robins. Yeah. That's Zack Schneider. I will be Robin, okay? <laughs> if he's still if you come back to <laughs> yeah. the DC, I do want there's this cuz I like independent comics because those are the ones you can get for like a quarter at places. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this superhero called Badger and it's with like first comics and i'm like this is the one like if i'm ever got sway and like we want you to make a superhero movie i'm like i'm going to be badger and the thing is is the dude he's got like multiple personality disorder but he's from wisconsin oh really and he's like real crazy and there's like it's a good comic it's fun and he's just like you know uh knows tons of whatever kung fu judo judo it's tons of stuff you know Hand to hand combat. That'd be the is hardest part is learning all of that kind yeah. of. Yeah. So you don't want to be like hard stuff. You do have to a lot of practice, yeah, but that's that fun stuff. Like, oh yeah, that's co- stage combat is a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, we took I took a class in college, and that's the most of it. But I wish to do more. I did. We did have some fighting scenes in that sex demon movie I was in, and that was really fun. That was you could pay like two dollars to rent it. It's called Grandma's Blood. Don't watch it. <laughs> Is it actually? Go, write it down because I want to. I'll buy it. I want to watch it. <laughs> Do you get royalties at all? No, the director. Yeah, uh, no. I but I did get paid a lot uh, for it. But I don't come into like the better the second half of the movie. And luckily they learned like okay, this guy's the only good part of this movie. So we got <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But the combat, it wasn't shot the best, but um, because the director didn't know what he was doing. He won't see this. I don't know why. (laughs) 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 Um, Because I'm afraid of him. That's why. I don't know. Maybe this one, we get a good clip out of this. It blows up. and Yeah. And then we can put the clip on uh, and then he'll sue you and it'll be great. And then you'll lose all the money they gave you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) What are they going to sue? What are they going to take from you? Three Uh, cameras? Yeah. That's all this is worth? (laughs) I got nothing. The shirt off my back. Uh But no, the combat scene, it's like real cool. And I'm like, I'm the lackey, like uh, the the second in command to like the main bad guy. So I like it to be goofy and fun. And it's like, I'm like, dude, a lot of my like mannerisms and look like I kind of. You're bad guy Robin. Yeah, basically, basically. Yeah. And the comic relief. So it's fun. But uh, like, you know, Valdo and uh, what's its face? Soul Calibur. You ever play that game? Never heard of. It's Any of those words. Before. Soul Calibur is like a Mortal Kombat style game where it's like mm-hmm. just two people fighting. And the Valdo dude is like really fluid, like snake kind of movement. And he's got like, he's like a, oh, I play it when I was little. I'm like, this guy's creepy. Like he's going to, yeah. I'm going to have bad dreams. So I kind of uh, played it off of that, you know, that kind of movement. So I'm like, and I was like, damn, this dude looks like, you know, little Joker man. Yeah. You know, I could see you being like a, if we did like if the people I know, mm-hmm. And we had him cast a a Batman Joker kind of thing. I could see you being oh, like a Jared Leto Joker. What are you trying to insult me right now? Is it what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have the look. Yeah, You're a little lengthier, and just like oh yeah, you could do the like if you did like a weird laugh. You could. Oh yeah, like, no, I don't like. The Jared I could build Leto a Joker great Joker. Yeah, but mm-hmm. like that's the closest thing. I mean, okay, who else would play? Right, Joker you're not going to tell know? someone you could be Heath because that's just impossible. It's, it's so impossible. Or Jack. I could Nicholson. be Robin. No one's Robin yet. I'm fucking Robin. Chris O'Donnell. He's still on TV. Miami Vice, I think. No, uh, he's on one of those crime shows now. He was fun. I'm I'm going to speak this Robin thing into existence. There you like go. it's it's going to happen. I mean, they teased it at the end of the other ones, and I was like, I know this is the end of the movie, but I like the Gordon Levitt setup. I Same. thought it would have been cool. It would have been. I like the idea of Robin. I don't like him as Robin. He just seems too old. I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't think he would be a good superhero. You're right. He he just. Yeah, I don't think he's a good superhero. I like. I think Christian Bale will always be my Batman. 
Of course. I liked him. I think yeah. Robert Pattinson has. That's what I love. He's got a look, but. That's my favorite part about the new movie is just saying he's not my Batman. He's not my you know, Batman. like he was not my president. Not, he's not. I don't. Robert Pattinson's not my Batman, dude. Adam West is my Batman. Well, the thing just is, kidding. like everyone, there's been so many Batmans that. Yeah. Like, the one person I can see like no one replacing Val Kilmer for a long time. <laughs> no, in terms of character, yeah, is RDJ as Iron Man. Oh, okay. Like he looks like the comic book too. Okay. He's got the whole like I don't see anyone replacing him. Yeah. No. Or Chris Evans as Captain Captain America. No, he was very good. So is Thor, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean there it was yeah. The Avengers were successful for a reason. And I think I really think the success of Robert Downey doing Iron Man in the Iron Man movies is the reason this whole exists. Oh, know? it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. um what's his name? John Favreau who uh-huh. produced that. He goes because I did so well, we're doing more, and we're like, that's why they redid the Hulk and one like, because technically the Hulk was the first one, okay. and they're like, no, we're recasting this yeah. after Eric the Banner. RDJ thing. Yeah, apparently he fought for. They didn't want uh, RDJ to be Iron Man, but John really? Favreau fought for him. I think, yeah. Well, that's good. I yeah. mean, good choice. That's always great when a director's like, no, I want it to be this guy, or it's not happening, mm-hmm. or even the actor, you know. But enough about superheroes. Yeah, enough about superheroes. That's all right. People are already sick of us. No. Um, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? We could talk about. I wrote. Yeah. R- what are, what are I you wrote RTF because I was like, oh, we both did. You were TV film radio, and I was radio TV film. Different universities, but that's not you know. I don't know. Talking about like, college. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I've talked about college in here plenty. It doesn't matter. I mean, we can talk as long. <laughs> 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 you went to lacrosse Eau Claire Wow dude Eau No Claire. it doesn't matter Oshkosh Osh- Fuck That's why I know yeah. <laughs> That's how I about it. No. Um, Yeah It was fun I had a good experience You know I had I I encountered a lot of politics In the radio TV film department So I Wasn't able to do Nearly as much As I would have thought I would have done Or hoped to do Going in Like I pitched so many shows and like one finally got picked up by the time I was a senior and they're like in the the political hurdle like just like for the TV show for the for filming. I ended up doing a crap ton more theater. I did tons of theater because I'm like, well, this is the place where I can do something I enjoy. I don't have to deal with politics. Mm -hmm. and They respect talent here, you know. What t- like did Oshkosh just have like a TV like channel or uh huh they had like its own studio and everything it's pretty cool setup you know it's like well at least they had yeah they had like a news channel and like sports Titan TV they call it you know you can still which is funny yeah you can also go I found out all the TV shows I had been in because I'd get cast in shows mm-hmm. um, but not to make my own stuff and so all the stuff I've been in is on there. And uh, on Titan TV or whatever. Yeah, it's on the internet, which is hilarious. I do, but the Titan TV is not on there. Grandma's Blood is on IMDb, so you can go on my IMDb. There's no picture there because I'm not paying for the pro service and my free trial is done. What I noticed about the TV film and radio is. Radio TV film. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, it could be called Radio TV film. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We need to find a third who's film Film, Radio radio TV. TV. (laughs) Um, But. uh, for such a creative major, you were very limited. Like, hey, this is what you're going to be creative about. It's like, yep. what? And so, like, <coughs> the big one was for us is um, this 350 class. Where, like, you have to make a, a seven-minute short film. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, I could do, like, I want to do comedy. I, that's how, like, I was like, I always want to do comedy stuff. I like making people laugh. And they're like, no, it has to be a dramatic narrative. I'm like, why? You're like, if this isn't what people like these creative people like, you're going to get shitty dramatic narratives. I get like you want us to focus on certain techniques or whatever, but just have them apply those techniques to whatever kind of fucking film they want to do. Instead of like, I am not someone that can just come up with like my other buddy, good friend, Charlie, made an amazing one. Like he they take the best ones and they have a showing of them at like a showcase and whatnot, like fill up the theater. Oh, yeah. Um. And I'm like, mine's not going to like he actually like it was suspenseful, depressing. Like, it was great. Like th- that's his mindset. Right, right. Mine is like, how do I make someone laugh? And so my dramatic narrative was like, I was the whole theme was like, I was mad that my brother in high school was smoking cigarettes while I was at college. Yeah. I was like, and there's nothing there dramatic. There's, no, there's nothing know? dramatic. Like I caught him smoking or something like that. And I'm like, 
and because they don't like he's going through trouble at home. Like that's right. That's so boring. It's and so yeah. I'm like that's not my lane. I can't do this. And they're like, nope, you got to do it. I'm like, this isn't the point of why I'm taking this. I want to be creative. And they're like, no, this is what you have to be creative about. Right. right. And it's like now I understand. Like Sam's going back to film school now, Sam Baroni, and uh, and he's talking. And we were talking about this too. And I was the same way back in school. I was like, and that's probably why I did more theater because I was like, well, you're not letting me do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. But now, being older, it's like I understand. <laughs> if I were to go to college, I would be able to do it way better. You yeah. know, it's like now I understand. Well, just do the best you can at this. P- foot it, foot in, fill in your creativity where you can. Yeah. You know, well, I get it. You got to pay your dues. Be broad some and of learn. It. Yeah, but I think it can be better in terms of like, hey, this is what we want out of it. No, put certainly. your own spin on it then too. It like, is these are your requirements for like. Like you need this many like angles. You need I need a a shot by sh- I forgot like what is it like I don't even know the terms anymore. I was such a bad student and like you need these kind of refresh. things. Like you need a like a pan zoom. You need whatever. Like just make sure all that happens. Like you learned everything about the camera. And then just make a seven minute film. That's it. Yeah. It is it is interesting that they're like, well, it has to be this. It has theme, to be a dramatic subject. narrative. I'm yeah. like, this is fucking stupid. That's probably just because the teachers, like, one time, bunch of, like, one year, there was only one dramatic film, and everybody tried a comedy film, and they all were trash. So yeah. he's like, that's it. You guys can't be funny. I'm not fucking sitting watching not funny <laughs> yeah, college but I films. I would rather someone attempt to be funny right. and it be cringy than someone be like, these are all going to be sad. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to grade. 500 yeah. sad seven minute films. I'd want to fucking shoot myself after grading. All exactly. That. that was the problem I had with my professors in radio, TV, film. Well, just one. I'm mainly talking about this whole time. Mm-hmm. As I'm like, your job is to help us grow and learn, not treat it like a real station. Yeah. And play politics and such. You know, like I had a friend who went in to ask for help and like just a couple questions and guidance. And this professor literally said, why should I help you? And I was like, and we were living like, this is your your job job." description, asshole. Exactly. And it was, I had gotten a whole bad rep because the first show I was on, I was like, great. I'm so excited. It was like a high school thing kind of. And I was playing the cool guy that the lead part had a crush on, you know? And I was like, okay, this script is level one. I can bring it up. So I do, you know, as you're supposed to do, I do a take as scripted. And then I start just going off, just Mm improving, just doing, bringing tons of details, more character stuff. I never once heard stay on script, you know, no direction, no being told, hey, can you just stick to the script? You say it, I would have. Fine. Never said that. What this person did was just go off and back talk me to the whole department. He doesn't know his lines. He's not doing anything. He doesn't talk to you at all. He does it. Exactly. And so that's the big thing for me. Yeah. Just confront me about it. Don't confront everyone else. Yeah. No, this happens to me a lot in life. It's frustrating. Not it happens happens to everybody. Everyone. Everybody. Yeah. Because everybody's people are judgmental. People want to get a rash opinion. It's like, oh, I know you. I know you, you know, and then they feel like We're they all know judgmental. themselves. We're all judgmental. It's just how you handle it. True. Yeah. You Like, everyone, that's a part of the process. Like, you're going to judge no matter what. It's just that you internalize it and yep. then learn, or do you immediately go, here's my judgment. I need to tell you, or I need yeah. to tell someone else. Yeah, it's that separation from your thoughts, you know, mm-hmm. like you can have tons, thousands of thoughts come in, but it's like, these are just thoughts. We all. There are funny judgments. If I see, like, a random person walking, like, if a guy's at a bar and he's in, like, a thong and a bikini, I'm like, I'm going to tell my friend. Like, I think that's kind of weird. I'm going to be honest with you. It's but if it's fun. my friend, I'd be like, all right, we need to talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, what? <laughs> Explain yourself. I just want to know. Yeah. And it's, I don't like that at all. That bothers me. I'm going to grab another seltzer. Would you like yeah. one? Yeah. I, I think I'm going to use the bathroom, too. Okay. I'll wait till you're done. And then, actually, I'll just have you grab the seltzers when you're done the bathroom this is when i should do like ad reads if i had ad reads oh, yeah. well, like today's episode is brought to you by tabo chico go to the bathroom you're good <laughs> i can no, hear you <laughs> i can hear you <laughs> i can hear you from here. we'll just yeah i think the cord's long enough so you can hear the stream uh, you ever like you're in a public bathroom you hear someone stream and you're like i think he's got a huge dick you're like fuck 
Like, this guy's got a way bigger dick than I do just because it's, like, way more powerful. Like, I used to just, like, push really hard when I had it go really bad and be like, I definitely got a bigger dick. Weird guy things. Weird guy things. Maybe make a whiskey ginger here. We're sending Matt off to work after this. This is the best part. I don't really know what he's going to go do at work, but... Ugh. What's your favorite seltzer? Comment below. You imagine that audio took off? Hey, for the next, like, 30 minutes, do you want to just, like, try and brainstorm weird audios that everyone could, like, use for social media? He can't hear me. He washes his hands. That's good. All right, you pick the next flavor. Should we get more ice? You want more ice? Give it a quick chug. Here, do you want to add some more into there? All right, I'll get mine. And then what flavor do you want? I'm a uh, lemon. Pineapple's probably my least favorite of like flavors for. Ooh, and this is lemon lime. This would be a good one. Ooh, sweet. Tang, too. Yeah. Tang. I'll get more ice for both of us when we when you're done with yours. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Is this just general? Yeah, I have depression. How's the depression? How's the depression? <laughs> hey, what's up? How's the depression? You mean like the Dust Bowl? <laughs> like what? Well, it, do you remember? Te- were you texting someone like I'm bummed right now? Um, I forget. I wonder if I told because I told a few people at work like my dishwasher because sometimes they could tell it's like you look tired today and I've learned that it's easy because like it totally is just a uh, chemical imbalance for me like yeah. I've found out that a third of the time is like a third of the days but it's in like weeks like one week out of three I'll yeah. be like okay this is just a depressed week gotta you know fucking forage through so it's easier just to tell people like you know I'm I'm fine but you know it's just a, a down day yeah you can just feel it. And you wake up and you feel it and you're like, ah, glad this happened to, you know, and that was Friday. I woke up and I was like, great. One of my biggest comedy weekends to date, yeah. you know. Um, well, that was this Friday or yesterday? Yeah. No, I felt and I, I think it, it came and went because I'm feeling good. Good show last night. So, you know, all the good yeah, time with friends, you're drinks. fun right now. Ah, it's <laughs> starting to come back, you know, actually. <laughs> that should be a good question. You just, uh, so, how's the depression? How's uh, the depression? Uh, it's good. I'm feeling good. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's, it definitely is, like, some people have it, obviously, way worse than others. Yeah. Um, it's a topic I've covered on here a lot. I'm sure. Because it's, I've had people around me that have become very depressed, but I also, because I've seen, like, serious cases of it, I'm skeptical of other people who say they are. So, like, when people go through, like, like there are different types of it, I've noticed. And people go through, like, if you have, like, a week, like, it's just mm-hmm. well, maybe it's not as extreme, but it's longer. Um, I yeah. don't like that people use depression and anxiety as a crutch um, or an excuse. And it's only hurting yourself when you do, you know. <laughs> exactly. Well, like, <clears throat> like, if someone's saying, like, everyone has bad days. That does not mean you're depressed. Like, you might be sad, mm-hmm. but I think... In terms, I think we've all kind of assumed like depressed now is like the lowest of low when it comes to sad days and an imbalance. Like it's like a problem. Sad days are not right. That. And I think anxiety, people, I'm like, no, you're lazy. Like you're depressed and anxious because you know you have stuff to do. You haven't done it. You're procrastinating. Uh-huh. And now you're freaking out. And now because you have none of it done and you didn't get what you want for right. something or you didn't put enough effort into it, now you're sad. You're not depressed. You're lazy. Right. And you're using it in ex- as an excuse. And you're belittling people who actually go through serious imbalances. Right. And like – I've gone on this rant so many times on here, and it, it just bothers the shit out of me when people are like, no, I'm just anxious. It's like, no, you're not. Like, you can't – like, I have anxiety. I'm like, you can be anxious and then not have anxiety. It sounds like I'm no, not no, no. agreeing. Like, I you get what I'm saying? I like, exactly like, hear what it, you're it, saying. It bothers the hell out of me. I'm like, I have anxiety. Yeah. That's why I'm like this. I'm like, no, you're not. You're anxious because you're not doing stuff on time. Mm-hmm. I get anxious 
I get sad. Like I've gone through like I've had like one month in my life where I'm like I'm not happy. I'm like I probably right. had a small bout of it, but by no means am I like do I have either one of these because yeah. I know people and I've seen people who've legitimately gone through it, and I know I'm like I'm nowhere near that. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to use it as like, this is my personality. Oh yeah. People use it as a personality cue. Like it's like the new, like, Oh, I'm not smart. Right. Right. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You, why is it cool to be like in bad? Like no one, you don't want that. It is. I mean, I do think this is part of it too, but this is not the whole, like some people is like, Oh, everybody's got their thing. I'm this, I'm this. And it's like, well, some people are like, I have nothing except my anxiety. So yeah. that makes me unique, you know? Oh, I'm so OCD or like, I mean, you can have yeah. like bouts of it, like spouts of it, but like when you use it as your entire personality, go fuck yourself. It just it comes be something you brag about. Right. And I don't think, I don't think it's bragging. I think it's more using it as like an excuse. Like, are you going to it is. let it bring you down or are you going to cope with it and learn skills? And that just means like you need to grow intelligent emotionally you yeah. know and figure out which it's hard to do and like because i only started doing this a few years ago where it's like okay you have your child self and that's what's winning when you're like oh i'm depressed i have anxiety and then you have your like adult self who's you're like well i'm gonna take care of me you know like you have to tell the kid it's gonna be okay and like we'll get through this you yeah. know well there are so many people that just like when we said we use it as a personality trait. They're like, oh, I have anxiety. And then they smile when they say it. And they're like, I'm doing nothing about it. It's like there are people actively trying to fix this for themselves. Yeah. And this is like, this is me Friday night. I mean, why I understand, too, is because like that I'm afraid of people thinking that for me. It's one of the reasons I took so long to start doing stand up, because like what eventually I want to talk about is, you know, what I experience, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel like people are going to look at me up there and be like, what what do you you know what do you have to depress be depressed about look mm-hmm. at you you're you know but that's why i think i i found the juxtaposition the fun of it is well the fun of it the jokes is that you know it's like i'm such a positive happy fun loving person yeah and then there's the dark side you know because everybody has Everyone sides has it, yeah yeah no it's a it's a big that's probably like my number one thing that bothers me right now is like when people do that mm-hmm. because it's it's real and the and yeah, and the thing is too is those. It, it needs to be treated with a certain way. Like I'm, like I said just a few years ago, got started on this. It's like I have so much stupid things that I did when I was younger in high school. When it's like, oh yeah, I was just super depressed and I had nobody to talk to, yeah. no, not knowing what to do. And it's like if, well, there's so many things in high school. Like if I oh. knew how to have good hair, then great. <laughs> <laughs> My life would have been so much oh, better. Oh, if only. <laughs> My locks. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, and that goes for everything, you know. You don't. Uh, it's a learning process. That's where other people, I think, my other problem is like, hey, people grow and change. We have to let them. I yeah. know it's so easy yeah. to just, we're all guilty of it. And like, I'm not perfect by any means. I am, but do exactly. exactly what I say I don't like. But like, look, with cancel culture and stuff, it's like when we dig up past things from uh-huh. other people. It's like, hey, they could be living an ideal life that like society deems ideal right now, but because they did something ten years ago and they're fucking seventeen, they're like, no, nope, yep. they're done. It's like I think we should not celebrate, but recognize, hey, bad in the beginning, he or she probably realized it, doesn't do it anymore, actively a better person mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Why are we taking away someone who grew and changed? Versus, like, yeah, if someone did it now, be like, all right, yeah, not good now. But we need to allow people to learn and like because we are learning ourselves. Like you said, like, oh, this is I was probably just depressed. That's the way I acted on it. Now Mm -hmm. you're more emotionally intelligent, but we're not letting people get to that point. Oh, yeah. At all. No. And it's well, what you see is it's one thing to be your whole brushstroke, your whole painting. And it's like, well, no, let's. I don't know. You know, I don't know this person. I shouldn't jump to judgment on mm-hmm. that. You know, it's like you don't have a big enough sample size to know the story. So that's like with all the news and everything in the years, a lot of it is just like, you know, and it's good to err on the side of I just don't know. And mm-hmm. that's OK. You know, like with bigger picture, higher power stuff and everything, it's like, here's what I like. But like, truthfully, like, I I, I don't know. All I know is I woke up today. Like, ah, we did some good drinking last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no, I'm kind of glad I didn't stay 
well, part of me, I was bummed. Like, I'm getting, I need to hang out with everyone more at high note, whatnot. But, like, my buddy's, like, we're finishing up the Badger game. Like, I went to school there. Like, I oh, gotta yeah, go watch yeah. it. I told him I joined him. And it was fun. And I was, like, in the back of my head, I'm, like, maybe I should have stayed. But also, like, I didn't, like, black out and drinking, which is good. I came home. I got a good amount of rest. Yeah. I'm good to go this morning. I mean, we're getting a podcast in before noon. Well, it's one thirty now. We started at, like. No problem. Got you at like a duration. You know who cares? But no, it's great. But yeah, the uh, if I would have stayed at high note last night, I think I would have been wasted. Yeah, I. I mean, I was just thinking, just like if I did have my own car and my own transportation, I probably wouldn't have stayed so long. I probably would have just went back because I was like, you know what? I know I want to work a little bit this weekend. Yeah. And I'm just gonna end up spending money. Um. But which I have done that, you know, there's been some nights where I just can't and I'll and I'll like, you know, what? I just want to walk home. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to summer because it's a 15 minute walk to high note from here. Yeah. I cannot wait where I can just I, I'll walk there like well, I don't have I, hopefully I'm doing more shows on Fridays like I, and throughout the year. But if like don't have one on a Friday. Walk to high note, like have a few drinks here with my roommate. Uh-huh. Walk to high note, maybe he comes it's with. Perfect. Do my set, drink. I can be as drunk as I want, and then just walk home. It's like a sober walk home. It's kind of cool outside. Yeah. It's the summer. Just go to bed. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Sounds great. like the best way to start a weekend. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, I mean, this you're really in, you know, downtown. Mm-hmm. This is it's all around, and I'm close enough to be. It's like yeah. Down, to, you know, and that's the cool part about living in a city. I mean, Milwaukee is the biggest city in the world, and, <laughs> and you have every experience you can have here in Milwaukee. It's a city that never sleeps. The that's, city that's the city, right? The city that never sleeps because Except of its anxiety. Shots, yeah. Because of anxiety. <laughs> um, no, what was I saying? dude, I want to get more know. of the comics. We should do like something before either shows or like. Um, open mics or whatever. Just bring he- people here. I think I have the space. Uh, it's close. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. We Good should point. Utilize a lot more. of stuff. I think. I think it shall. I, I like shall hosting happen. things too. I like hosting things too. I think it's fun. Like I want to do a Christmas party. Oh we do a comics yeah. Christmas party. I here. love Secret Santas. Love Chris, dude. I already. I, when You're we, already in a few Secret Santas. No. Oh. No. I already <laughs> was planning the Christmas party when we were like moving in here. Hell yeah. Like when we toured it, I was like, I look, at my buddy Jay. I go, both of these poles, they're gonna be decorated like candy canes. Oh. Okay. Like it. It's just gonna happen. Um, Where are you gonna put the garland? What anyway. the hell is that? The green. Oh, the green? The green Judy. Maybe we could do one candy cane, one, one wow, garland. That's what I was thinking. Well, that's a or heater. We you don't want to put. Or we could put it on the pipes. We could put it on the pipes. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. We could wrap lights around, like, all the vents and stuff. There's a lot of decor. I want a tree. I want a tree. Oh, yeah. I have. I'll put one right here. In, uh, oh, yeah. That's a perfect spot. It's yeah. a, it, the place was made for a Christmas tree right there. Exactly. I want to load it with like I can do fake presents. Like, dude, I love Christmas. I, I can like, do it. Yeah, I can do entire podcast. I like on the Christmas. spirit. I like the Christmas spirit. It's, I best part about Christmas is it's a, a month. People complain like, oh, holidays they take so long. Like, I hate Christmas because it's like because they're downers. I like. <laughs> I think that's the best part about Christmas is it's a month. It's a season, and it's a month where ever everyone is happy. They're looking forward to something, and they're focused on other people too. They're yeah. Like, what like what do I get them? Like I want if, people to be happy. Like I want them to like this present. Like it's more like giving than receiving. It's oh my god, everyone's so much happier. I do love giving, you know, but I'm you say that and I think of all the people who just don't know how to access the fun part of the holiday. Like, oh, they say exactly what you just said, but they're like, Oh, I gotta get this person that. What if they don't like it? Then I wasted money. And it's like, no, who cares? Who cares? It's the idea yeah. that you thought of them is awesome. Like mm-hmm. someone like if my roommate even gave me like, Hey man, I know you like Oh hell yeah fucking what is it? Land shark I love Land Shark beer. He's like, You got me a six pack? I'm like, great. Yeah. The idea a- that like you even like went out of your way, you got it. Even if it was on your way from where I'm like, I like it. That's what's great. Like, like that's and like there's no ha- pressure in like don't you know, there's no expect that's why I'm like, don't don't give people gift cards, all right? Don't no gift cards. This is the worst fucking gift. Week out on it. I think I'm a good gift giver too, because I, oh, I I'm, pay it. I'm very observant. <laughs> <laughs> very observant. Yeah. And so like it's little details where I'm like Oh my god. I'm like uh like someone would be like, Oh, this broke or like I really want to do this or mm-hmm. like I would love to have um 
Like, I yeah, don't know. I, like, this would be a great decoration. Like, I'm tr- looking for something for, like, a painting that'd be, like, funny in my bathroom. And I'll register that in, like, July. Right. And be right. like, exactly. I'll make it come by and, like, in November. I'm like, oh, they clearly aren't getting anything. I'm like, I'm going to get them something for their bathroom. Uh-huh. Like, like, holy shit, you, you remember keep talking about the that? The keys are keeping a list Yes. when you hear it. And then also just knowing the people. So And when you go about throughout the year, you're like, oh, this person would love this. I'm going to get it now. Mm-hmm. You know, because I might not – like, stuff at, like, Goodwill or, like, you know, one item that you're not going to see again. Uh, I have learned if I'm, like – if I see something out that I know someone would like as, like, a gift, uh-huh. I'd be like, oh, this would be – I should get it for them around their birthday. I'm like, no, just get it now so you don't forget – because you're going to forget then. Yeah. Especially if it's not on the list. You're like, oh, I just saw it And out. then you'll be Grab so it. pumped about giving it to them. And be like, fuck yeah. If it's waiting in your closet, exactly. you're like, oh, man, I, I can't wait till Greg gets this yeah. pizza chopper. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> I still love the pizza. He broke his last one. He broke died. his last <laughs> pizza chopper. <laughs> Got to get a good pizza chopper. Those are, those are Today's podcast brought to you by Pizza Choppers. What the hell is a pizza I chopper? Just, <laughs> I just put up two words together. <laughs> I just put up two words. That's Actually, you know what? I have a pizza chopper. Um. My cousin Hold sent on. it to L- me. Hold on. Let me get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to try this one because um, – so we want lemon lime, right? Tangy lemon lime. When you try it, I just want you – have you ever had Fruity Pebbles? Yeah. Oh, no. Dude, this – you've never had them? No, I have, but I'm like, oh, I don't want it to taste like Fruity Pebbles. It doesn't taste like it. But the smell is like if you put your face in the box of Fruity Pebbles, yeah. I want you to think that. Okay. I've had a lot of things that like smell like Fruity Pebbles. And then I'll, I'll load up your drink too. You, uh, you know what? Now would be a perfect time. Everything you're going to do, make a little clipboard. Tell the world what you do, what they should look at. All right. Well, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is small, but I do Jish Report. It's like weekend update style, uh, but it's more silly. A lot of jokes about end up being about movies. But. This Sunday, I know it'll come out, but I just want to say I'll be at the Laughing Tap doing the Hangover Show. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm on screen everywhere you can see me. No, not everywhere. Uh, Places you go. I will have a short film coming out. It's going to be called Somebody or Somebody. You know, a little wordplay there. You don't don't know what it's about. You can't guess from it. Um... What else did I do? Just basically stand up right now, doing a lot of acting, trying to do. That's it. You know, that's it. Well, when are the next shows? We got a March 31st show at High Note, March 29th show in Madison. There's the pizza chopper. This is a pizza that's chopper. A pizza chopper. You come in two handed. One motion. It's like the uh, paper cutters at school. You know, the yeah. huge thing that. I guess they have it. Those are so satisfying. Too. I always see how much like paper I could put in one of those. And you're always thinking like someone's head, you know. As a kid, oh, you're yeah, like, like I, I could put my finger in there. Yeah. Like how how hard do I got to chop? Disciplinary. Um, pizza cutter, official name. So you just make a company called the Pizza Chopper and have some good marketing, and then you're golden. Dude, I I have every cooking utensil you could think of. Yeah. Everything. Well, I'm so into it. Like it, it became an obsession, oh, that's right. and I was like, I, I, I mean, I love it. I mean, dude, half the stuff in our kitchen, I would say more than half is mine. Yeah. And it's like nicer stuff. Like I really like it. Grab some ice if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, it's perfect for the show. The show. The we should, we should talk about that. We'll wrap this. I usually only do these like hour, hour fifteen ish. We're at like fifty eight minutes. Let's talk about. Potential like this high note one we're doing and then maybe doing something with central waters and then I don't want to And then maybe the cooking show like what I want to hear your ideas for it. Cody thinks it's a good I- idea, too We were talking about for the cooking? Yeah, yeah See my friend uh, Tanner Very successful model Actor everything he did a uh, his pandemic show that he started was called Tanner trying and it was him person and personality of trying new things that it got like picked up by like not like QVC but it was called like shop cook or something and it was like you know just a show where he's trying out these new products and you can call in and buy it I don't know if he's still doing it but it's like oh man you end up getting paid you know yeah so it's just a, a big, you know it's about fun personality and
forgot I wasn't <laughs> in the mic the whole time. Like, you're talk. I thought you knew because you were talking louder than usual. That'll be naturally. Fun. I just natu- naturally. I'm just natural. Naturally, you performer. got louder. Yeah. Natural performance. I find the light. I find the frame. Look at this. I'm totally in frame right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of both. I find it. <laughs> just sit. Make your way over into my camera. You're perfect. Yeah. So uh, I like to. No. I'm thinking Welcome about back no. to the podcast. <laughs> We will not be on camera anymore. It would be fun. It would also be fun to have, like, something over here to throw back to. Because anything you can throw to, like, the show, like, on the Jish Report, I'll, I've will i found myself acting like I need more cameras is what around. you're saying. No. No, I mean, you ha- yeah, yeah. I have, I have three more cameras. Six cameras is the least amount you want for any. Well, that's the thing is I if I'm going to do a cooking show, I want it to be... Like well produced and edited, so like I, I think maybe get a GoPro and you attach it to the top no, no, of no. the microwave, so you can see like if I'm cooking anything on the stove, you can like an aerial view of the food getting cooked. Yeah, I mean that's a good shot, but you can also have just someone come in there with the camera and hold it Fair. while it's going. Fair. I think I think you, I mean, you have more than enough cameras to do it. Yeah. Oh, we can do it. Well. Do it with three. Do a wide shot with the whole thing. Exactly. One that has um, uh, the two guests facing the guests, and then. Someone can have a handheld one, and that we can cut to that whenever you want. I think there, if there's a, hopefully there's stuff like if you need, uh, like a tomato to be diced up, then there's just like a little another island over here. Someone who just does Someone. all the cooking. So they're like, all right, we're gonna Bernard. have <laughs> Bernard over here. Bernard, our dicer, get uh, up to it, and then you can throw it to him. Like, hi, you, you know, whenever it's um, what do you think about it? I think it's great. Just like a sidekick yeah. on a late we show. We should do or it. You know, I think, who do you think would be the a good sidekick? Good sidekick or like the first fun guest to have on. I, there's this really funny guy in the scene. He's been doing it for <laughs> years. <laughs> His name, he goes by. Well, if you're going to help produce this, you're going to be here every goddamn time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that is true. Um, and well, that's it. Well, obviously, this is a lot, but it could be. Well, the, the best way to do it would be live to tape, you know, where we record it live. Yeah. And then. I got to figure out how to do that. Yeah, that would require more. You know, you'd need more a, stuff, a, and a, I would need someone to yeah, direct. You know, someone, to be like, okay, yeah. take camera three. You know, go back to the Y. No, I Which think that shit is fun. I want to get. That shit is I think it'd be fun. Is we get Avery here. We'll cook for Avery. He would be fun. We'll let him. Take he an, would be a good sidekick. <laughs> let, him, let him take an edible, and he's because like, this food is great. This food is great. Um, Rye would be a good one. Yeah, so I think you the host, yeah. and then a guest, and then a sidekick, yeah. and then like maybe someone you could who also be always the does the producing. taste. Yeah, yeah, I could. I, 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 well, I my want, first side was I'd be great. Yeah. Sidekick. <laughs> I, I always want, and I love dicing veggies. Dude. I want to rotate. <laughs> guests though like it can't oh, be course. the same people all no the time. no yeah. that's the that's the thing yeah. but also if we can't get a guest you and i can just do one yeah that's a beautiful we got this hot it. new yeah. recipe yeah. we didn't have time to find a guest and we gotta eat it's <laughs> a pb and j sandwich <laughs> it's a pb and j <laughs> this new jam no let's do it i'm excited they just discovered I, this I new really jam i really want to do it but i need help yeah like, I, i've thought about doing like like people I've talked to, like just take pictures of your food and then post it on Instagram. Like I can start doing that and just like maybe try and and that would also just be help marketing for the show. Everyone and their mother does cooking stuff, and I understand that. I'm doing this simply because I think it's going to be fun. I heard everyone and their mother does cocaine. Everyone and their mother does <laughs> cocaine. Everyone and their mother has tried cocaine. If you haven't, go for it. That's, give, hey, that's our health tip. Of give the day. your mom a call. <laughs> Say, hey, ma, I got this great new stuff. We should I got try an eight ball. <laughs> Want to hang out? <laughs> let's put it in the corner pocket. Um, good God. Yeah, yeah let's no, do a lot it. of stuff. Yeah, you just need a team to do I stuff. I need a team. You know? Well, that's the beautiful like part about like finding like a group of people like things. So like comedy, everyone I, there I know likes being semi creative at least a little bit. So finding like minded people is very tough. Like, when I was in college, like, I wanted to do a podcast so bad, but, like, not all my friends were, like, that into that stuff. Right. Like, I had to get them drunk to do one. Um, it's still on my very first podcast I ever did. It's still on my phone. I just put the phone down on a table, uh-huh. and we, like, we made topics and shit like that. It was so fun. Yeah. But I was like, I want to keep doing this. So, like, this isn't, like, our avenue. So, I'm like, I need to find other people that are like-minded, and I, like, 
now that I'm finding people here that like it, I'm like, I get excited again. And the, like, it makes this podcast fun again. It doesn't feel like a burden. Like I mm-hmm. enjoy the hell out of this. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's been set up before. Cause it's like anything like with the improv show, like we were talking, there's like a form. It's like, as long as we have directions, like we can, we don't have to be nervous about it. Like, you know, there's a cooking show. We do, are we going to do this recipe? Like people could be relaxed, you yeah. know, it's not, the cameras will be rolling. You know, it's not like, that's why I want everything. It's not to like be, you're going to do 20 minutes, you know? Oh, that's why I want everything to be like this. Mm-hmm. This feels normal. This is just a conversation for you and I. It oh, might right. feel a exactly. little heightened because we know cameras are here, but like, this is just a conversation. I want that to be like, Oh, my friends are coming over. Mm-hmm. Let's, you guys are going to watch me cook uh, because I have an audience now. I'm going to fuck it up. I know I am, but that's going to be fun. Right. Right. And then eventually I'll get comfortable cooking in front of an audience. I'm like, this shit might actually look decent. And like, honestly, yeah, the fun, it would be hard to get. But like, if we just have four or five friends come and watch yeah. see, like an audience, a real studio audience, it'd be hilarious. But uh, yeah, no, this is totally conversational. Y- you could do like uh, at the credits is like them actually trying the food and have them like this fucking sucks. <laughs> Chicken's dry. Rice isn't cooked through. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe. Did you really just make me chicken, rice, maybe and broccoli? Maybe too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This might be too much, but the thing is, is like at the end of the day, when we try a guess, is this a real recipe or not? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we make up something like this is chicken cordon masala <laughs> <laughs> with uh, broccoli rube. <laughs> you know, and then it's like, was this? And then you, we you try to pull like, oh, it off. And they're like, oh, I like this. I'm like, like this is, we just well, we just good. made it up. <laughs> it's golden. And then we also become Michelin star chefs. The show might get a little expensive buying food, but. True, true. But also I could but just treat cooking. it as you like. You got to get the ingredients. That I could also just treat it as like, I make enough. I'm like, all right, this is my dinner for the next two days. True. True. <laughs> True. I saw, you guys I want mean, to watch me make dinner for the week? Yeah, this is. I'm gonna portion it off too. This would be a great Sunday thing for me, because yeah. I like. I'm very like structured with yeah, my no. eating throughout the week and Sundays and weekends. I'm a little like Saturday. I'm like, all right, I'll try and do well. Mm-hmm. But Sunday, I'm like, eat whatever the fuck you want. Eat because you do yeah. so well. You work. I work. Sunday I mean, such I work a at a fucking gym. take off day. Like I work out yeah. all the time, and so I can eat what I want on Sunday. I just we do this Sundays. I'm like, let's fucking binge. It'd be like, sick. We could do like a dip day, like chips and dip. Oh my god. Oh okay. I thought you meant tobacco. I was like, I no, I'm try that once. Yeah. I've never done it. Never done it. <laughs> in high school, at a party, and I threw up. Of course, because they're, they're like, you're gonna throw up yeah. your first time because you you accidentally swallow because you don't know yeah. what you're doing. Everyone that, throws up. Yeah. I've never done it because my dad did it growing up. Oh and yeah. I was like, it just always it's seemed just gross. Why? It, it seemed is. Gross. Yeah, it is. And I'm thankful for it. I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Or not anymore at all. <laughs> I've had a few cigarettes in my life, but you know, first time I took a hit of a cigarette, I thought I was gonna cough my lung up. Yeah, I, like, I don't know how to do this. I think everyone else makes this look so fun and cool. By it, the way, fruity pebbles. Yeah, definitely. I definitely almost said too. Yeah, I smell it, and the aftertaste is yeah. too is fruity. I don't mind it. Well, it did say tangy. It. Is it tangy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the tang right that's the there. Tang. That's the tang. Not do you to think, be confused do you think with you the drink. Smell it now because tang. I told you to smell it. It smells more like Fruity Pebbles than it tastes. Yeah. I just was going off the, the drink with, you know, that little drink with. You get. So Tapo Chico, I'm probably saying that's so white. Tapo Chico. Um, I think it's Tapo Chico. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to say it more. more times we say it, it's going to get more and more racist, I think. Two Poach. Oh, it's Two Poach Ico. Oh, there we go. That's um, the Tangy Lemon Lime is more like f- the box of Fruity Pebbles. Tangy. I didn't mind strawberry guava. Yeah, that was good. The only thing with seltzers is, like, if I'm going to drink a lot of them, it's because I'm committing to just drinking all day and getting hammered. Otherwise, you drink them slow. Like, you feel like the roof of your mouth kind of get, like, like dry. Or okay, dry? Yeah, I don't know. Not dry. I do actually not drink seltzers that much. I haven't either lately. Because to me, it feels like. But I'm a vodka soda guy. Right. That's like that's why I'm like, well, this is like a step down from like beer kinda. It's more like the it's more like a, a perfect fit for a day drinking. You mm-hmm. know? It's like wow. Well, it's nice out. You don't feel like it's gonna nice. they yeah. feel like they don't fill you up as much. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's Even like, like you could have light beer, which endurance. is probably the same amount of calories. Um, but they don't feel as filling. Yeah, light Miller Light at least is like just two or three less calories. Yeah. A hundred. 
I wonder the volume. Pierce probably more. Added minerals for taste. Well, thank God. Minerals. We need our minerals. That's what it says. Gluten free added minerals. Get your minerals in. America, get your minerals in. To Pochico. <laughs> to Pochico. <laughs> Um, all right, we can wrap this up here. I still haven't thought of a question. I used to think I was going to ask questions for every season, so I break them up into seasons. Every 16 episodes, I ask questions. I don't really have questions for this one. I asked Cody, um, so I, this was like I want to get serious for a second. Um, I wish I was doing this the whole time. This shot looks beautiful. I just want to <laughs> say, <laughs> um, sorry. I'll take a screenshot of that and then, uh, you can have all that for everything you want for this. I want everything. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I'm your therapist right now, like the most comfortable, casual therapist. So let me ask you your serious question. Matt Nielsen. Yeah. Why did you get into comedy? Why did I get into comedy? And this question I hate. And <laughs> actually, no, I have, a, I have a better one. No, that's okay. I no, no, no. Like one that I think cause it bothers me a little bit. Um, when I hear it from comics and I think it's like them trying to be funny. Um, I don't start something unless I think it's going to work out. Okay. Um, I think you kind of need, I understand it's not going to work out for everyone. Um, but you kind of need that like blind confidence. I think Ah. for things to work out, it bothers me when I'm like, they're like, what we're all here. Like no one's going anywhere, blah, blah, blah. Is do you believe that like you doing this? Do you actually think like, oh, I'm just doing this because I like it, which I hope you are, or you're doing this because you want this to work out? It's uh, for me, it's it's both, definitely, and like I think it should be. Yeah, and I know, and coming in, it's like, and this you, some there's you know there's this confidence and then there's ego, you know, but there's it's good to have that confidence. Like mm-hmm. I'm learning, sometimes you gotta toot your own horn, but. Uh, like I'm the real, you know, I, I say to my, I'm the real deal. Like I'm, there's been a few situations in my life in like time where it's like in high school, like the director, cause I was seen as like a goof off and it's like, Oh, you're just doing theater because you want attention. You're one of those, you, yeah. you know? And I'm like, no, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Like I'm the, yeah. I'm committed. I'm real, you know, the only re Yeah. And so I do think both cause that, and that is an interesting question that certainly should be asked of all of us in Milwaukee, yeah. right? Because it's like, well, we're doing comedy in Milwaukee. The scene is growing spectacular. You know, we have clubs coming in and what a well, just the improv. But it's like, it's pretty cool. So it's a lot of stuff going. But then you, I think about the vets, you know. And when I started out here, I had a lot of conversations with some like, like trying to be like, hey, man, like, are you thinking about moving out to like, you know, Atlanta, New York, LA, Chicago, right? Because yeah. it's like at a certain point, it's Texas like if, now. Yeah, Texas too. Denver. It's like if you're all, all if you're really serious about it, then, you know, f- and this is just me. I don't know poop, but uh, I do know poop. Uh, but, like, if you're really serious, it's like you're not going to make just a living off of it from Milwaukee. The only way to do it is the Barron's way, you know. Yeah. Um, and is that really what you want? Like, you know, do you want to be cast as that character? And that's really you eventually a- have to move on. You people like it's getting out of your comfort zone to try it in Milwaukee, I think is a great mm-hmm. like thing. Um, and I always struggle with like trying to like I, the, the, by no means is advice because I'm still very new to it. Yeah. Um, and me too. And I think like it's gone well enough for me in the beginning. Well, but. <laughs> 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 but I think if you're going to take it seriously, like if you actually believe you can do well at this, when you have the opportunity to like maybe move to a bigger place, um, you got to take it. Oh, yeah. Like you're going to have to make a leap. Like you might have a security blanket with work here, but like if you really want to try this, Mm -hmm. you got to make that leap. And that's really what what I was thinking next was like it's like really – it's about following opportunity. Like you can't be afraid to make the jump if it comes to you. you Exactly. Like you might – be like, I'm having success here. I really enjoy this city. I'm going to stay here. It's great. And that's great. You know, but like if something comes to you like, hey, 
uh, uh, talent agent sees you like, I want you to shoot this pilot, you know, and then it gets picked up or something. It's like, well, now you got to move. Don't be like, I'm staying in Milwaukee. Obviously, that's a dream scenario. Yeah. None of us are getting on pilots here and no. getting picked up for CBS. Although I did just have an interesting phone call yesterday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. With NBC. With NBC. They, if you fill out forms for NBC, they make you check the box that you have no political aspirations now, which really? is funny. You know, it's like, I hey, don't. you're I not going to be president. political aspirations. Yeah. Zero. It's like, well, if I'm filling out forms for NBC, then yeah, sure, I'll say I'm not going to run for president, you know, because I won't. Oh, I just pulled my neck. Jeez. So, how's that depression? Yeah, how's the, <laughs> how's the depression, huh? <laughs> That's uh, feeling good, man, I tell you. It's depression and me, we're coming best friends. <laughs> I say we wrap this up. We can talk more afterwards, but... What's the name of your podcast? Fat Chance Podcast. Fat Chance. All right. I think... I was actually thinking about that the other day. Is It stemmed from a story in San Francisco where I said... I basically was like, Fat Chance, buddy, to some weird guy. Um, but I, for some reason, called it Fat Chance Podcast. I think I'm... But no one's name is always like podcast. Like, podcast isn't the name. So, technically, oh. this is the Fat Chance Podcast podcast. Um, That's funny though. Yeah. <laughs> My chance podcast, podcast. Yeah. So, I don't know. Part of me wants to like. Go you could just do Fat, Fat chance, chance, Buddy. buddy. That's yeah. that's fun. Like people, like one buddy. day, I hope you're like you listen to Fat Chance, Buddy today, Buddy. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's a. Uh, and that's like character, you know. It's like Fat Chance is Fat Chance, but you say Buddy, you can picture someone saying it. Exactly. You picture, so, oh, yeah. you're calling me a buddy. Um. Well, Here's thanks. I want to get back to this, and then we'll end it. Do you think I like to make I have my brother's very good with um, graphic design and artwork and stuff like that. And he'll he's made a lot of T-shirts for me yeah. um, for this. Do you think we had any T-shirt moments today? T-shirt moments. Good. Because if we if I want brains, you have until Tuesday of this week to come up with what you think is a brainstorm. Oh, well, or like I'm a T-shirt. Gonna idea. come up with something because I want to yeah. buy the shirt. Cause no, 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 you get it for free. <laughs> oh, you get yeah. it for free. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. You know, knowing, and that's the thing with being prepared. I was like, had I known going in, it's like, oh, this is a great T-shirt. Well, phrase. that's what I I don't like. Pizza it's chopper. Because I've noticed, oh, yeah, <laughs> pizza said, chopper oh, yeah. could be good. That I could like be that. one. We had some fun bits. We had some fun. We'll talk about it afterwards, but thank you for doing this. Yeah, that's thanks for having me. We tried for a while. Thanks. Yeah. We made it. There we go. That. <laughs> I think there's some like thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> the thumbnails always look terrible for this shit, but I bet we got. It was Honestly, a fun. I, had a I fun might time. just make the thumbnail. You just sprawled out on the couch. I don't need to be in this shit anymore. Yeah, you. Uh, give me, see, give me once, a pose. Once people see me too, they're like, "We want more." Give me a pose. More right, good Photoshop. There we go. Fat chance, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're Fat done. Chance. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Get out of here. <laughs>